Hello everybody, you're probably here because you're trying to either record or live stream you making music or video editing or whatever. Regardless, we all have one thing in common. We're using the Focusrite USB ASIO and under your audio hardware and uh, you're having a problem. You're having a problem where you can pick up your mic, as you can hear me right now, but you cannot hear the sounds that are coming from your DAW or your video program or whatever the hell it might be, you won't be hearing audio from the program you're literally trying to record, which is frustrating because you need to hear audio from, you know, if you're making music in a program. So I have a fix for this. It's really simple. It feels very backwards, but it works. So, hey, whatever. And um, yeah, so first of all, you're going to make sure that you're picking up your mic, which is right here, um, the way you hear me right now, which is an audio input capture and it's Focusrite USB audio, done. It is now picking me up through this. As you can see that this light is green, therefore it is picking me up. And as you can see, it is also picking me up in here. So we're good, the mic is good. Now the problem is, if I go into here and I play some sounds, as you can see, there's volume here. You can't hear it through my OBS and that sucks. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you have a Scarlett 2 i2. You need both inputs. You're gonna also need to make sure you have a guitar cord. I forget what these are called for Christ's sakes. It's not really a guitar cord, but you basically plug electric guitars in it and speakers and whatever, but you need this cord. Okay, now usually, geez, usually this cord would go into the back of my KRK speakers. But instead of doing that, take this side and put it into your second input. So now, instead of your audio going to your speakers, your audio is now going all the way around and back into itself. So it's basically having sex with itself, okay? <clears throat> so all the audio that you would be hearing through your speakers is now going through the input, thus meaning you can pick up a recording of what your DAW is outputting. So, first thing you need to do is turn up the gain. And you're gonna also make sure that this gain is up as well, because this would be the volume knob for your speakers, but instead it's a volume knob for this chord going into the input. So now, if I play something on here, you can see that when I play, it is lighting up, which is perfect. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so now one thing we need to note here is that we cannot have direct monitoring on. Why? It's because if I hear myself, the output here will hear me and it'll put it back in and it'll be double of myself going on at the exact same time, which will sound like trash. And here, I'll just show you. Hello, this sounds super weird, doesn't it? I kind of sound like a robot. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. So you just turn that off, right? Just turn off direct monitoring. So that's a con. You won't be able to hear yourself if that's usually what you do, which is usually what I do, which kind of sucks. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. Anyway, so if we go into FL Studio, another thing that I need to warn you about is that you will hear, say if you're recording vocals, you'll hear me through OBS and you'll also hear the DAW. So as you can see, I have a lot of auto tune on. Right? So you'll hear me twice at the same time. So if you're recording vocals, the viewer will hear both the effect chain on your DAW and they will also hear your voice through OBS or their voice through OBS. So yeah. But the main thing here is that we'll be able to hear sound. <laughs> Hopefully not that sound, but you'll nonetheless be able to hear sound, which is what you want. So therefore you can make music and record it and live stream it. And that's about it. There's one last thing I need to point out is that all of your audio, so both inputs, one and two, will be going into one output, which is right now mic slash aux. So all the sound from FL Studio and all the sound from my mic right here is gonna be going into this one output which is okay, but if anybody has any way to split up channel one or input one, input two, 
and split them up into two outputs here, that would be greatly appreciated because then therefore uh, you can control the volumes of input one and input two. But I don't know how to do that yet. So if somebody can figure that out or knows how to do that, please leave that below in the comments. comments. Um, <clears throat> but for now, this is the best I can do. So hope you like the video. Please subscribe and leave a like if this helped.